The effects of COVID-19 have heavily impacted residents in long-term care facilities, leaving many isolated and away from family for nearly a year now. One Center County facility is going to bring some color into their buildings to make residents' lives a little bit brighter. Our Peyton Kennedy joins us live now from Juniper Village with more on this story. So, Peyton, what are they offering for residents? Well, Maggie, Juniper Village is using the healing power of art in the exhibit titled The Awakening of the Creative Spirit. Freedom and bond of love. Those are the themes of Zara Lofty's art exhibition in Juniper Villages at Brookline. I thought, you know, if I want to share my paintings, it is the best way to have it uh, with the people who can uh, uh, enjoy it more. We normally think about uh, art as going to a museum or going to a concert. The word going is always, you know, in the, in the mix when you talk about art. But in this instance, as Zora has said, we're bringing it to people where they are. Juniper says the access to art has lifted the residents' spirits. So to be able to infuse our hallways with color and life and feelings of that bond of family, um, our residents have just really enjoyed having something new to look at and be inspired by. The pieces are also shared through Facebook so families can connect with their loved ones through a shared experience. Quite often through the week, um, residents have Zoom visits with their families or window visits or even just phone calls and it is something fun to, to talk about and share together. Lofty had a period of absence away from her passion for art, but she's recently returned to the craft. Zara's story resonates with us so much because something we talk about at Juniper is life in the third act. And the fact that Zara rediscovered and recommitted to art later in life is truly an inspiration because creativity and creative expression has no age or timeline. Coming up at 6, I'll tell you how memory care residents at Juniper are working hands-on with art and how it's benefiting the Alzheimer's community. In State College, Peyton Kennedy, WTAJ News. All right, Peyton, thank you. Just the power of art and a simple piece of bright, colorful artwork can really cheer up the spirits of everyone. Yeah, it definitely can.